I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to your questions. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for sharing their questions and making this channel a very useful one. Now here we have to solve all the questions calculator free without calculator. Good. So let me write down my email address which is anil dot uh, rather Anil let me write down here Anil Kandelwal at gmail.com so if you have any questions or difficulties you can always email me to this address I will be there to look into your questions and provide some suggestions so third question which is now in this case determine p and n for x now this is binomial distribution where n is the number of trial and p is a favorable probability correct where sigma x is equal to square root of 8 standard deviation that means and the mean is given to us as 12. Now for binomial distribution the formula for mean is uh, square root of uh, let's write down the formula so that we can easily solve this particular question correct. So what we know is that NP let's use the space okay so NP is basically equal to 12 which is the mean right so NP is the mean for a binomial distribution this is binomial distribution so we are given this NP is basically mean which is given to us as 12 right that becomes one equation for us the second equation is the standard deviation which is equal to square root of 8 so that means square root of NPQ is square root of 8 correct now from here as you can see we can actually uh, solve for both N and P since we have two equations so we have NPQ equals to 8 but NP is 12. So replacing NP with 12, we can write 12Q equals to 8. And from here, we can solve for Q, which is 8 over 12, dividing by 4, we get 2 over 3. Correct? So that's the value of Q. So that is not favorable, or the probability for failure. For success, the probability P will be 1 minus Q, so that should be 1 minus 2 over 3, which is 1 over 3, correct? So we get our solution, and that is P is equal to 1 over 3, and N is equal to, we didn't find N. Okay, so we'll get back to our first equation, which is uh, now N times P, which is 1 over 3, is 12. So N is equal to 12 times 3, or 36, right? So we get n equals to 36. Okay. So basically, uh, let me write this as our equation number 1. This is equation number 2. So first we find the value of uh, p, right? And then here we substitute from 3, right? From 3, we get the value of n, and that becomes our answer. Is that clear to you? 